Good day. Our topic for today is all about uh, wrong connections for motor. What if the line 1 and line 2 is connected to line 3 and line 3 connected to line 1? What will happen to the motor? I will explain later. Shout out to our colleague Christian Buena Flor for helping us. And then, this is also the terminal box for our motor. You can reverse it. Okay. In the part one, we already installed. This is the connection. Okay. Y connection at 440. UVW there is a mark on that cable I already put in the same sequence for line 1 line 2 line 3 and then the question is what happened if that line 1 connect to line 2 and line 2 to line 3 and the effect is only the rotation the sequence of rotation and then shout out to our colleague Prince Braulio Angelical helping us also with this situation this is the auxiliary for our main conductor below is the thermal overload relay we already replaced that one that is already new it's because in the previous that term uh, overload also burned and we replace a new one and set to it's the same setting in the previous setting as per manual Okay, we already start without motor. I press the start button and then we will check the output. Output at the end of the overload relay for 40, line 2, line 3. Then line 1, line 2, 4, 46. Okay, same line 1, line 3, 4, 4, 6. Okay means our starter conductor is good means we can connect our motor they stop and then we can connect the wire wires this wire is connected to our motor okay there is also label UBW we will follow that one Okay, already connect and then this is the remote start and stop button for our ejector pump. Let's see, let's start. After starting, we check the rotation, just jerk it. Okay, the rotation is counterclockwise. We need to observe again counterclockwise but the normal rotation is clockwise we need to change the connection okay we change line 1 to line 2 so that the rotation will the rotation will do clockwise you can change whatever you want UV or VW or UW as long as you change the two wires and then after that changing line 1 to line 2 and then start okay clockwise that's it this is the correct rotation for our motor when starting the motor just jerk it start stop so that you can check only the rotation i hope you learn from it and then please like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates thank you very much